Hey everybody, Coach Mel here, and I am with my client, Haley, and hopefully she considers me a friend because I consider her a friend. Yes. I'm so excited for this day. We just got a group through our first round of 12-week boot camp, Melfit 12-week boot camp, and I am asking some people who are willing to be interviewed to tell their story and share with you guys. So um, we have Haley here today and she completed the Melfit 12 week boot camp. And I'm gonna have her first off tell you her results and then we're gonna kind of give you my normal kind of timeline interview. So over a brief period, my last interview with Tammy was like 20 minutes, over a brief period so you can kind of see you know, where, where was Haley coming from? Um, she'll probably share how old she is and her struggles, and we'll just kind of go from there. So, okay. So okay. Results, girl. Yes. Brag. Results. Okay. This day, you got to you gotta brag <laughs> for as long as you yes, can. Yes, right? yes. So, okay, results. so 22.1 pounds. Woo um, a total of 23 inches around my body. That's crazy. You know, like neck, waist, chest, all that good stuff. You know that's over two feet. <laughs> Two feet. Yeah, just about two feet. Mm -hmm. Like, oh man. I like thinking that I've lost like two rulers width yep. of inches around yep. my body is I told insane. Tammy, a small child. Yeah. Grandchild. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, so those, oh, and um, so I was at 191.5 and now I'm at 169.4. And Haley's five foot one. Five foot one. I am petite, just like Mel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it doesn't feel good when you're a chaparita. That mm -hmm. means short in Spanish. Yeah. It does not feel good at all. Sometimes when I tell people my heaviest weight or what I lost, um, they're like, but that wasn't very much. And I said, you know what? It really is. For your height? My mom weighed 110 pounds growing up. We're mm -hmm. little people. We're not meant to have um, a lot of weight. And I will tell you what I have. Um, going, what I have, uh, two things, one thing going for me, I'm 5'2". I have long legs. My inseam is 32. Oh, wow. That's fabulous. What I don't love about my body, <laughs> my ribs and my hip bone practically touch. I have the shortest torso on the planet. So when I gain weight, oh boy, howdy, it's all in the middle. Yep. And I just feel so uncomfortable. Yes, that was that was one of the main feelings that I felt when, you know, before I lost all this weight is that I'm very short mm -hmm. and very stout. Mm -hmm. And when I would wear my jeans, I would just have this massive roll over my mm -hmm. jeans. And, mm -hmm. you know, it made me feel like I couldn't breathe. It mm -hmm. made me just not confident. Yep. Like, um, you know, I guess I'll dive into my story a little bit. Yep. Um, so I was kind of like a little bit um, chubbier as a kid. Mm -hmm. uh, once I got to be a teenager, I started leaning out. Um, I started like working out a little bit. Uh, I got to my smallest uh, senior year. I was 127 pounds. Um, and, but I ate whatever I wanted, mm -hmm. you know, cause I was 17 mm -hmm. and I'm like, my, metas my metabolism is great. Mm -hmm. I can't gain weight. I'm not gaining anything mm -hmm. eating all mm -hmm. this crap. Been there, done that. Yep. Isn't that fun? Mm-hmm. I always tell young people, you enjoy that while it lasts because it's oh, going to yeah. change. Oh, God. And then I hit, like, you know, probably just a couple years ago, 20 years old, and still eating the same crap food. Yeah. And it just started coming on. Mm -hmm. And... You know, me and my fiance had gotten together, and so that's one of the things yeah. in a good Whenever relationship. Let's eat. You Let's eat go good on a date. food. Let's eat. Yep, he makes wonderful food, um, which is awesome. But I just started feeling like crap, and I never thought that I could lose it. Uh, thinking that I got to almost 200 pounds, you know, makes me want to kind of tear up. Um, I. Had try, I have tried to lose weight in the past. You know, I'm like, okay, you just got to exercise. You just got to exercise. That's it. Not knowing how important the nutrition is. Um, That's what I say on my, um, my commercial, if you guys have ever heard it, so to speak, where I'm standing and we're in black and white. I say that that is the biggest problem is the food. Mm -hmm. You can yeah. work out seven days a week if you don't change your nutrition. 
Yeah, no. Um, so I just started feeling just uncomfortable in my body. Mm -hmm. Like I, you know, and I tried to be like, you know, I should love my body how it is, mm -hmm. you know, which is true to an extent, but not if you're not happy. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I wasn't happy. My self-esteem had plummeted and, um, you know, no health problems yet. But all I could picture was, gosh, I'm going to hit 200 and then I'm going to hit 225. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden mm -hmm. I'm, you know, going to be out of breath going up and down the stairs. Mm -hmm. And also, I don't know if you want to start a family, but I'm working with a girl right now. And that is exactly why she hired me as her coach, because she can't get pregnant. Oh. She's too heavy. Yeah. So that makes me sad. Yeah. But we're going to get her there. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm only 22, so my story isn't that long. Mm -hmm. But um, all of my family, we have, you know, body types where you can lose the weight if mm -hmm. you try, mm -hmm. but you put it on fast mm -hmm. if you're not trying. Mm -hmm. um, so, gosh, I'm just so ecstatic that I have come this far I am too yeah so I'm gonna tell you guys how I, I met Haley at the bridal festival in Spokane and this actually started out as a bridal boot camp. yeah and what's so crazy it gives me chills to to see this come to fruition this is going to be by far probably one of the best plans on the market and I'm not just telling you that because I wrote it person after person after person will sit in front of this camera and they will give you a testimony. And you're gonna hear a little bit about how it is, um, what it entails and how not scary, how it's not scary. But I, there was an ice cream booth <laughs> across from my oh. booth and I was telling this guy, dude, you're killing me. I'm over here trying to sell health and fitness and you're selling ice cream. And her and her mom came over, ice cream cones in hand. Yep. And they had enough guts to say, Oh my gosh, I know we've got ice cream in our, this must really look bad. We've got an ice cream cone in our hand and we're talking to you about health and fitness. And I told Haley, what a great story that's I be. know. We are never ever gonna re forget that. That's how we met. Uh-huh, you know? yes. Although she had an ice cream cone in her hand, she wanted to know more. Uh, yeah. And I know she wants to look, she doesn't have a date for her wedding day, but who doesn't want to look their I best. I want to start trying on wedding yeah. dresses and getting the feel for it and yeah. feeling comfortable in them. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like, and my image is a huge part of that. You know, yep. I want to look my best. Yep. And, Absolutely. um, you know, going forward in general, pictures is a huge thing for me. Absolutely. I would never, I would never want to have my picture taken. Mm -hmm. Or if it was, mm -hmm. I would ask somebody to retake it a yep. hundred times. Yep. So, before you started, what were your fears? What were you reluctant about? So my biggest fear was the commitment. Mm -hmm. um, when I walked up to you to that booth, I thought it was going to kind of be like all the other booths I walked up to. Um, like they're asking kind of for a commitment. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll think about it. Mm -hmm. I'll get back to you. Mm -hmm. But man, your personality, you were like, okay. Let's do this. Write your name. Write yep. your email. Yep. Your phone number. Yep. And I'll get to you. That's how I am. I didn't think that I was gonna do it. And I'm like a nag. <laughs> and I did it. Like yeah. I did not think that I was gonna do it. And then my mom signed up with me. Mm -hmm. And like, so the commitment was my biggest fear. Mm -hmm. Um, because something I have tried in the past is I did have a coworker who was working on becoming a personal trainer, mm -hmm. and um. You know, she was great. She was motivational. Um, she did everything right, but it just, it wasn't, the, you know, you have to have a good fit. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, it was a lot of counting calories. Mm -hmm. And in your plan, you don't have to count calories. And that, uh, it was, you know, I had to be in control of my own macros and calories. Mm -hmm. And it was just a lot. Mm -hmm. And I feel like when you're just starting out like that, it kind of almost sets you up for failure. Absolutely. So did you think you would finish, Haley? I did not think. No, yes, I did think that I was going to finish. You know what's cool? is I didn't think I would start. <laughs> everybody I asked said that, and that's the common denominator, and that's why this plan is amazing, because to make it 12 weeks, we're going to get into the guts of my plan, and I'm going to have Haley tell you. I'm going to throw some questions out there. The reason why everybody that I ask if they thought they were going to finish is, says yes. 
common factors. Um, so tell me some factors about uh, what you like most about the plan. Support, food, easy to follow exercises, motivation, shopping, li shopping lists, easy to follow recipes. Like tell everybody why you made it 12 weeks. Okay. Since Super Bowl Sunday to yes. April 26th. Uh-huh. 12 weeks. Well, what a great day to start too, yeah. after Super Bowl Sunday. Yep. I chowed down that day and yep. then I was like, all right, yep. time to get into it. Um, the support from you is astounding. Thank you. The support and motivation. Um, you're one woman and you have all these clients and the fact that I text you with a question and you respond within five minutes, like is crazy. That's why I tell people, maybe Chris and Heidi Powell have a $75,000 app, but she isn't answering your questions. I am. Yeah. <laughs> so let me tell you guys, I bugged Mel a lot. <laughs> uh, I was texting her every single day. She always answered my questions. Um, you were always giving me support and motivation. You know, so I think that's the number one thing that made me stay with it. I love it. Um, the food, amazing. Not to mention, you know, you always say in your videos, this is the cheapest cooking class I'm ever going to take. Yep. I like, I have learned how to cook. I never really knew how to cook before. That's awesome. That's and so cool. I always tell people, if you know how to cook, fine, go to the recipes. If you don't know how to cook, I'll teach you. Yeah, and it's nice. I'll just pop in my earbuds yeah. and play the video. Cool. And, you know, I'll pause it after every ingredient, Good. make sure I get it going. Oh, I'm so glad. Yeah. That's so, exactly how I pictured mm -hmm. the app to be used. So yeah. for everybody to actually, you know, the one thing I didn't want, Haley, is I didn't want gray area. I didn't want people to go through week one and be like, but I don't get it. But I'm confused. Do you not think it's pretty salt and pepper cut and gr cut and dry? Oh yes, of absolutely. Of what your responsibilities are oh, supposed yes, to be. Oh yes, absolutely. So also, Haley's young. I'm sure she's on a budget. Yes. Tell people how inexpensive it is to meal prep. Oh, it's so inexpensive. Um, you know, the first couple of weeks is yep. a little spendier. Pantry um, items. Yes. Almond St flour. Yep. Stevia. Yep. Stuff that you're gonna be stocked up on in yep. bulk. You know, like. The, I didn't have any of the arrowroot yep. powder, powder yep. or almond flour, any of yep. that. After that, I was spending like maybe $75 a week on groceries, mm -hmm. good whole foods, Go girl. fresh meat, fresh fruits and mm -hmm. vegetables. Mm -hmm. You know, you add that up, that's three, $300 a month in groceries. Mm -hmm. You know, that's pretty average. Yeah. yeah, that's for three meals, a snack and a dessert. Yep. And dessert. And, and I will tell you guys, you'll hear me talk about a free day. What I'm teaching Haley is life skills. I'm not teaching her how to go through 12 weeks and then go right back to her old ways and gain all the weight back. I mean, this has been blood, sweat, and tears. She did the work. She shopped. She prepped. She did the workouts. She checked in with me several times a week or every day which is every fine. day probably and, and you know what i look at it it's like your mindset when you're done is going to be so different psychologically i allow you to pick your free day i don't give advice on what your free day should be i want this day to be yours and for you to choose but the one thing that i told haley when we first started, I think you told me you were consuming 3,500 calories a day. Oh, probably. Which is way more than she needed for her size. And, and I've had her on approximately 1,500 calories for 12 weeks. Have you been hungry? Nope. No, never hungry. Sometimes probably maybe not even getting all the food in. Nope. And if, if the one thing I tell people is look at your first day free log and look at your last day free log. And what, what happens? What oh happens? man, I think my first day free dog, I had a frozen corn dog on there. And second free day, Olive Garden. My last free day, completely Whole Foods. Ah! Like, and that's not because I forced it. No. That's her choosing after 12 weeks to actually pick Whole Foods. Yes. And she has the choice, so. Also, one thing that Haley was finding too is a couple times she would drink the Kool-Aid. 
she asked my opinion on a burger. She's like, oh, it's my free day. I'm just gonna have the bun, but I'm not gonna have the fries. Then she followed up. Gosh, didn't feel that great. Tum tum, Lil Rumblin. And then that's, that's her choice to evaluate, drink the Kool-Aid, see how you feel. Time and time again, you just don't wanna feel like crap. Yep. And it's your body's way of telling you, I like whole food, keep giving me that whole food. Yeah, so. um, I wanna elaborate that on that just a little bit. Um, a couple days ago, uh, me and my fiance had gone over to our friend's house and uh, one of them had cooked brownies. And I was like, oh my God, I wanna try a bite. Mm -hmm. I put it in my mouth and I couldn't eat it. I could not eat it. Was like it too sweet? It was so rich and sweet mm -hmm. that like, my palate didn't yeah. know how to respond. Yeah. And, and that's what I tell people is when you first start out and you've been consuming mass sugar, your palate is dead. That's why everything has to be extra. If you're going and getting coffees, I owned a coffee stand for, for 13 years. The people that were overweight always wanted extra flavor, mm -hmm. extra this, extra that, because their taste buds are dead. When you get done with 12 weeks, you're gonna be at a farmer's market this summer and you're gonna have a freaking peach and it's gonna be dripping down your arm and you're gonna think in your mind you've eaten peach cobbler. Yeah. Am I right? You're right. Like fruit actually is what should taste sweet to you. Oh yeah. And that's what we do. I mean, everybody's always like, you can have fruit on your plan. Oh yeah, we can have fruit. We don't abuse it and it tastes sweet and it's mm -hmm. enough to, you know, sometimes I'll go get, some strawberries and blueberries and put some of that cocoa cocoa whip on yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. But the one thing that I, I hope you learned, Haley, is I'm giving you 36 recipes, 36 whole food recipes that you know are safe, mm -hmm. that you know you ate for 12 weeks and you lost weight. And 12, I liked them. And you liked them, good, I'm glad. <laughs> and 12 snacks and 12 desserts. There's some people that don't know 10 recipes. Could you take just what I gave you, not all of my other app stuff, and live the rest of your life on that? Yes. Okay, so that's really what I want. I want to set people up for life. I'm so sick of the yo-yo. I'm so sick of the, did this challenge, lost it, gain it back. I want to meet people at the end of 12 weeks and wholeheartedly feel like they get it. So. Where is your mindset now compared to before? My mindset now is that this is my well-being. Mm -hmm. um, I eat food for fuel. Um, I can enjoy it, of course, mm -hmm. but it's to fuel my body to run, you know, Good. to do my exercises. Um, my mindset before was you know, just, I eat for pleasure. Mm -hmm. Um, I had a really, really hard time with binge eating. Mm -hmm. Um, and it doesn't feel good. Mm -mm. It feels good for the second that mm -hmm. you're doing it. Mm -hmm. But you know, when you just open that bag of chips and you can't stop mm -hmm. and I would, I just would binge mm -hmm. and then I'd feel awful about myself. Mm -hmm. And, um, but my mindset now, in just, in just 12 weeks, mm -hmm. that's not that long. No, it's not. That's not that long the at all. The time will go by either way. I exactly. Say that. The time will pass either way. You can either use it wisely or squander it. Yeah. This was done during the coronavirus. This is being filmed during the coronavirus. Haley never messaged me and said, I can't do this, Coach Mel, because I can't get my groceries. I know I went to the store. It wasn't the fresh fruits and vegetables that were gone, nope. was it? No. Nope. There was a little area there where the sweet potatoes were hard to come by. And like meat. W and meat, but what, what was hard to come by? Oh, like top ramen, Processed. macaroni yep. and cheese. Yep. yep, so we're pushing a 50% obesity rate in America. I mean, I take my job very seriously. And the reason that I answer you right away, when somebody messages me and they're about to walk off a cliff, I imagine you have a needle in your arm and you're a heroin addict. I truly believe that food is killing people. 
2.8 million people died last year in the world of obesity. This is a problem. Mm -hmm. To me, it's very serious. So I, I just, I think you're, you're, you're young and for you to be able to get a grip on your health right now, it's amazing. So what would you say if somebody asked you what diet you I were I said it's following? not a diet. What is it? It's a lifestyle. Boom, that's when you know. Like I would, you know, they would be like, oh, she's on, or I can't give that to her, she's on a diet. And I'm like, I'm not on a diet. Good for you. I've made a healthy decision, mm -hmm. like, for my life. Okay, if I saw you down at the Post Falls Brewery and you were eating pizza, would I be mad at you? Not if it was my free day. What if somebody that was at your table said, are you cheating, what would you say? I'd say, no, it's my free day. See, free, not cheat. <laughs> Okay. And I would also correct people when okay. they said it's Free. her cheat day. It's, it's, it's to establish a healthy relationship with all types of yeah. food. And knowing that I don't expect anybody to go the rest of their life having something off plan. So as long as Haley plans for it and I've educated her and she knows how many calories and she knows how to actually have an off plan item without setting her backwards, that feels good, doesn't it? It really does. It, 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 week after week after week when you're constantly mm -hmm. losing and you're right on track. Actually, you're our top loser. Woo! Like, <laughs> Thank top you. Top loser for weight loss. Oh. So everybody came in um, between 20 and what were you, 22 point? 22.1. 22.1. Yeah. Okay, so that's awesome. Um, who can do this, Haley? Anybody who has a positive attitude. Love it. Anybody who, I wouldn't even necessarily say anybody who can make a commitment because I didn't think that I could make a commitment, mm -hmm. but I did. Mm -hmm. um, you just have to want it. Mm -hmm. You have to want it. When I came up to you at your booth and I look back on that person in January, I'm like, wow, like, she was kind of sad, mm -hmm. you know? She wanted mm -hmm. to she wanted to change her life, mm -hmm. but she didn't know how. Mm -hmm. And it's exactly like you say, like, you are saving people's lives. Mm -hmm. And yeah. So if you could give me three words about how you felt about yourself that day you met me. Um, I felt uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. um, I felt... How do I even describe it? Like, I just felt so bloated in my mm -hmm. own body walking around. Mm -hmm. um, constantly adjusting my clothes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I hear you. It's not fun getting dressed. Three words now. That's not a struggle, right? No. <laughs> um, passionate. Awesome. Uh, enthusiastic. I love it. And happy. I love it. Passionate, enthusiastic, and happy. Do you want to be passionate, enthusiastic, and happy? I love it. I love hearing that. And it's just, oh my gosh, just hearing the story is just amazing. And we love having Haley in our um, army because she's so involved. You know, she's posting positive things. And that's what our page is for, anything positive. I mean, somebody might be having a funky day and they can you know, see Haley's post and it just cheers them up. I told my stepdaughter, Talia, if we need another coach, Haley would make the best <laughs> motivational coach ever. Oh man. You've been through it. I mean, it's awesome. Have you ever wanted to give up over the last 12 weeks? No, not at all. No. How many plans have you failed after, you know, a, a, week? a few, like, unbelievable. Yeah. So do you think you can create healthy habits in 12 weeks. Absolutely. Okay. That's yes. awesome. People need to hear this from someone besides me. What's the most important thing you learned about yourself over the last 12 weeks? Something that may have surprised you. That I can kick butt? Yep. <laughs> I, I, I was going to tell you what mine was. At what? Just to, I staying focused and committed. Absolutely. Also, she kill, she's killing her workouts, and she's graduated from my Melfit 25s to the shreds. <laughs> the 25s are too easy. And also, I'm a marathon coach, so I'm going to get Haley doing some running and doing some racing. So. I got some running shoes. Yeah. And the one thing that 
I want you to know, Haley, you're no different than me. You're no different than everyone else. If you have a positive attitude and a mindset, don't ever let anybody tell you you cannot do anything. You can do anything you set your mind to. You just, once you get, like, I know at first it wasn't there. I don't know how many weeks it took you, but I, I always look at it like this. I tell people, I said, you just got to get tunnel vision and act like you're going through a life with a shovel. If somebody is in front of you that is not pushing you forward to your goals, just kick them out. Just <laughs> shovel, just shovel, just shovel. Don't you feel, don't you feel like somebody could have dangled a Krispy Kreme in front of your, like the willpower yeah. Let me tell you how is good. unbelievable. Let me tell you how good it feels to say no. Doesn't it? Yep. When I was still at work yep. and somebody would cut open a brownie to sample, mm -hmm. oh, Haley, did you want a piece? I'm okay, thank you. Good for you. And it feels empowering. And, and let me tell you what, you think people peer pressure drugs and, drugs and alcohol, people peer pressure food. If it's like misery likes company and sometimes they won't take no for an answer. They no. keep, oh, what do you want a diet? Oh, it's not gonna kill you to eat cake. And it's like, mind your own business, okay? I'm not gonna pick on anybody if they're vegan. I'm not gonna pick on anybody. If people don't ask me for help, I don't bother people. Mm -hmm. If people want help, they come to me. I don't give my two cents that, oh, you shouldn't be eating two hamburgers. Like, mind your own business. Isn't it awful? Yeah. It's like they all want you to join their team. You know what, in the back of my head, the bitchy part of me thinks, if I eat that, I'm gonna look like you. So no thank you. <laughs> and generally they're overweight and have horrible skin. How about your skin? Hello, oh, wow. sister. Yeah. Have you noticed? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. All the water and mm -hmm. the fruits and the vegetables. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. So tell me, Okay, give me a typical day in your old life and give me a typical day in your new life. Oh, I was excited for this question. Um, typical day in my old life, I probably wouldn't eat breakfast. Mm -hmm. um, if I did, it would probably be something extremely high in carbs and sugar. Um, a big old Costco muffin or... 900 calories in those. A bagel and cream cheese almost your whole calories for your day yeah um you know and then pretty much just literally eat whatever i wanted mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and today eating whatever i want is the good stuff yep Isn't that you crazy? know yeah i would i could probably down like a oh, Spicy nacho Doritos mm -hmm. were like my weakness. Mm -hmm. And I could probably down like a whole bag of them mm -hmm. in one sitting, which I don't even want to know the nutrition mm -hmm. facts on that. Mm -hmm. Now I eat until I'm satiated. I pick the good foods and I like it. I enjoy it. It makes my body feel good. That's awesome. And for Haley to adopt this mindset set over 12 weeks tells you how much psychology goes into oh, my yes. plan. It's not just I'm giving you workouts and nutrition. I'm getting into your head. I'm teaching you everything that I went through over the last 20 years, the things that I struggled with. How do I eliminate people's cravings in 12 weeks? How do I make them feel like it was their idea to eliminate bad foods? How, how not, I mean, because things that are forced just don't work. And the one thing that I think is so cool is everybody that's completed the boot camp. Um, so, so what now? You completed Sunday. What? What? Yeah. What's, what are you gonna do now? Um. You know, yesterday you asked me how my first day went on my own, mm -hmm. and I told you it was just like normal. Mm -hmm. Um. I got up and I started meal prepping. A few days before that, I decided what I wanted to make for the week. Um, and I did it on, I did it on my own awesome. and, um, you know, breakfast is a chocolate banana protein smoothie bowl with some Love granola. It. Good. Lunch is like a, I made like a fajita taco salad Good. type. Here's your Melfit teriyaki with fried cauliflower rice cool. and some fresh pineapple. Sweet. Love it. And yeah. that was her decision. And I love that. And it's like, all of a sudden she's created habits that are going to last her the rest of her life she'll always eat like this she's never going to go back she, you know 
Size seven looks pretty darn good on you, sister. <laughs> the one thing that I will tell you, I love your dedication to Melfit and I'll always be your life coach. Even though, as you can see, I'm looking for longevity with people. And when you said that you have to have a fit, I also have to have a fit as a coach. I'm looking for people that are all in, yeah. that want real changes. I don't want a one hit wonder. Mm -mm. I don't want someone that's counting the days till the end of the plan so they can go back to their unhealthy lifestyle. Pick another coach. I'm not your coach. Let me tell you guys this. After you finish the 12 weeks, you won't even want to go back. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, Tammy started over. What's kind of nice too, what Haley's doing is now she's kind of picking her own, you know, yeah. favorite little recipes, but she knows that if she needs anything that I'm here. So what advice would you give to someone out there who is watching that was like you and can relate to, to what you've gone through and feels hopeless and they're afraid to try something else? What, what would you tell them? What's your best advice? Well, you know, that was exactly me. I felt hopeless. I didn't think that I could ever change. In fact, I actually started throwing out my smaller clothes mm -hmm. because- Oh, that's bad. I knew that I wasn't gonna ever fit in them again. Oh, that's bad. Um, so if somebody came up to me and felt like that, and let me say like, I'm 22 years old and I kind of like that I'm a younger person mm -hmm. doing this. Me too. Because me too. I know a lot of people my age who are struggling. Absolutely. Um, I'm working with one right now. She's yeah. going to see this video and she's going to hone right in on you. Yeah. I would clearly suggest your coaching Thank you. and, um, you know, even if they couldn't afford the plan, mm -hmm. $30 a month mm -hmm. for your app, and they could at least be starting to exercise and at least be starting to make healthy foods, even if they couldn't afford the plan. Thank I canceled my gym membership. Yay. That's like music to our ears, huh? That's I was paying want. $30 a month for fuel, and guess what? I hadn't gone in like six months. If you could have taken that money and, and g given it to Melfit, right? Oh, yes. Yeah, so. And I would just tell them like, hey, like I was you. Mm -hmm. Like I know how you're feeling and mm -hmm. you can do it mm -hmm. because I did and mm -hmm. I didn't think I could. Mm -hmm. One thing I wanted to, to have you um, elaborate on a little bit, Haley, is I know that when people start my 12 week boot camp. They always feel like they've got to get it out of their system and they've got to have this big binge. Yep, I felt like that. Because holy crap, clear the calendar. Our life is going to be on hold for 12 weeks. We are going to be miserable. We're not going to have a social life. Things are going to suck. Elaborate on that. Yes, so um, let me tell you, I actually did do that. Uh, before I started Super Bowl Sunday, extremely big binge. Um, I don't know why you feel like you have to get it out of your system, but when that's the way that you've been living for mm -hmm. some reason, mm -hmm. it feels like that. Mm -hmm. um, my life on hold, absolutely not. Mm -hmm. Absolutely not. Um, you know, I've been on a six week leave from Starbucks right now. Mm -hmm. And so I think half of the plan, I was at work. Mm -hmm. um, worked out fine. Mm -hmm. I ate at the same times. Mm -hmm. I brought all my food to work. Mm -hmm. I, I had my almond milk in like a little reusable jar Good for you. and people were like, what is that? Because she probably looked at the nutrition label of Starbucks almond milk because I told her to and it probably had sugar in it. Yep, it right? did. Yep. Um, you know, lately I've been home. I uh, haven't been working. And I have a routine. I mm -hmm. work out. Mm -hmm. I eat my food. Good. I enjoy the rest of my day. Uh -huh. Good. That's awesome. That's what I want you to tell people, Haley, because I don't want people to not start because they feel like their life is going to be on hold and their family is going to be on hold. It's 25 minutes a day, three times a week for the first month, and then we move up to four and five. It's two hours a week mm -hmm. food prepping my goodness, you can get your food delivered to you. So there's no excuse yep. with the shopping and you can have a free day. So if you like to have a little white claw or a truly like Haley and I do, or it's date night after COVID opens up, buy howdy, budget for it, earn it, deserve it. And I'm also teaching people, I'll, I'm gonna tell Haley a little bit about this. If your burn is really high, which Haley's is, 
we can actually bank extra calories mm -hmm. for you. So our client, Tammy, finished, just to let you know, Haley, she's two weeks out from completing. She's still losing three pounds a week. Isn't that amazing? Yes, so, absolutely. We appreciate you, Haley, and I was Thank so, you. so excited to hear your testimony. And do you know that I, when I met you at the bridal fair, I knew you were all in. <laughs> I can tell. I've been doing this for a long time, and I know I'm aggressive, and I know I'm a with little love. much <laughs> with love, but you remembered me. I did. And if I was that aggressive within a few minutes of meeting you, how aggressive was I going to be as your coach? Right? Yeah. Okay. And I don't always say things that are warm and fuzzy because I want people to succeed. I don't coddle mm -mm. and I do support. But if you want somebody that's going to get you from point A to point Z and teach you life skills, MelFit is a, is a health and a fitness, a healthy lifestyle app. I mean, you can just throw out your gym membership. You can throw out all your that's magazines. That's what I did. Any resource that you ever had, it's right there mm -hmm. so this is so cool for us we're when we're filming this we actually have only had melfit for about nine months we've only had our app for how long josh eight months and it's just so cool to start to get people's success stories and we really really enjoyed hearing yours and i thank you don't worry about you Haley. i there is no doubt in my mind that this is it for you and i feel like you've been happier yes. this last 12 weeks than you ever have. I see you out with your dogs. I see you kayaking. I think this is just the beginning. Yes, absolutely. <coughs> Let me get took up. And I wrote that in your post. I think this is just the beginning of your life. Um, I actually have, you know, generalized anxiety disorder and I um, have been taking less medication. Awesome. Because uh, I made this change. That's so awesome. Yeah, I mean, the sky's the limit for this girl. I mean, right? Yes. <laughs> she can do anything. She'll be running a 5K, and then she'll be running a 10-miler. Then she'll be running. I mean, I just, I have faith in you, and you have faith in you, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> make me cry. So I hope you guys got something out of this. And my mission is for the rest of my life to who any, anybody that's going to lis listen I have all the tools in my toolbox. Nothing stumps me, nothing scares me. Somebody messaged me the other day and she said, oh, I sent her a before and after of a client I've worked with. She says, oh, but I've got much more weight to lose than that girl. And I thought, okay, what about Keith that was 600 pounds? I've worked from anorexics, bulimics, middle of the road, people that wanna gain muscle, lose weight, morbidly obese. It's all the same. It all starts with food, right, Haley? Yes. It's all the food. Although, of course, when you start looking hot like this chick over here, <laughs> you want to be toned and start to show off your body, but it all starts with food. So thank you guys for joining us, and thanks for being our guest today and thank telling you. your story. Yes. And I, I have a feeling that it's not the last time. I have a feeling that you are going to spread the message. And if you go back to work and people see you, eventually what's gonna feel so good for you, Haley, is someone's gonna come up to you and be like, gosh, Haley, you look so good. I really wanna lose weight. Can you help me? How will that make you feel? <laughs> oh, humbled. Like, I, I'm excited to go back to work because I haven't been there in a while and mm -hmm. everyone's gonna notice That's and awesome. I'm gonna be like, I did this. Good for you, you did. And you know, when, when people get to the end of the 12 weeks and they wake up and they're doing their final weigh-in and their final pictures, I'm just as excited <laughs> for that day as they are. I've, you know, as a coach, to, to see somebody finish something, I mean, that had to have been the most exciting day in the world for you. It was, right? it was. <laughs> to, to, to see something through. And I always tell people, you can't really say you have a goal weight or you have a goal. Yeah. Because you're always gonna get here. And then as long as you keep yourself healthy and in a positive mindset, then you're gonna go here and the sky is the limit. I mean. What you'll do from now to the time you die is going to be un, 
believable. So I just hope that Haley pulls more people over on her team. I hope and so team too. Outfit, so. <laughs> um, if you guys have any questions, I'm sure that Haley would love to answer questions for you. Or if you uh, want to get started on uh, living a healthy lifestyle like we do and not deprived, we're not on a diet, life doesn't suck, we wake up every day happy and mm -hmm. the food's amazing. So I hope you guys will join my team. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.